Hello mates, it's Siddharth here. I cannot wait for the new Spider-Man game coming soon on PS4. This game has been developed by Insomniac and will be published by Sony. Spidey is a hero who truly deserves an immersive video game that would fit into his impressionable skills. He has been one of the icons in pop culture, so it's a fact that he has received quite a lot of games in his name. None of the games, bearing a countable few, have stood out though. Now, whenever we ask someone what his or her favorite Spider-Man game is, the answer is mostly the same. Spider-Man 2. Oh no, no, not the PC one, the console one. No, other Spider-Man movie based game is good. But games like Ultimate Spider-Man were well received. Shattered Dimensions, a game that allowed you to play four Spideys from parallel universes, seemed like wasted potential and a rehash of Arkham Asylum. But a game that did not get the needed attention is the subject of my video today. Spider-Man Web of Shadows was subject to mixed reception on its release on October 21st, 2008. It got backlash for a small map, repetitive missions and so-called dull graphics. I did a playthrough of the game once in 2013 and I liked it as a young teen. I played the other games like the Amazing Spider-Man movie games but I didn't quite like them. Now in 2017, I had this urge and nostalgia to check the game out again. I downloaded it on torrent and started playing soon. I'd like to analyze a few points without beating about the bush and why I call this game underrated. It's true that it's greatly fought, but even then it's one of the best superhero games ever. Let's start the proceedings. The Graphics It's a 2008 game, so its graphics fall flat in front of newer games, but that does not make the game feel aged. Its graphics are quite good and make Manhattan feel alive. The character models are well designed and look good. Secondly, Swinging A Spider-Man game with good swinging mechanics is worth its weight in gold. What made Spider-Man 2 so popular was the newly introduced ability to swing throughout NYC. The real feel to play as Spider-Man is to freely swing around the city. Web of Shadows excels here. Fighting The fighting in Web of Shadows is novel to say the least. Spidey is fast and the game is so smooth it allows you to hit combos of over 100 hits. There are a lot of moves for both Spider-Man versions, the original suit and the black suit. The Story the story is good, relating to a symbiote invasion and Spider-Man's fight against a ravaged city. There are many famous characters like Black Cat and Wolverine to help you out and there are pseudo-morality choices in the game, which enables the possibility of many endings, a first for a Spidey game. Fifth, Darkness. The game is darker than other Spider-Man games. Yeah, the humor is apt and stuff, but the game takes a dark turn after the symbiote invasion, adding depth to the storyline. Secondly. Multiple characters from the Marvel Universe. You get to have Rhino as an ally here. Luke Cage, Moon Knight and many other heroes will be there to help you in your quest. But the last point of my review is what makes it cooler. 7. Throwing Cars Now you would wonder what that means. In WOS, Black Spider-Man can throw cars and wreak mayhem in the city. But lack of sufficient artificial intelligence makes sure that the drivers of those cars don't get out of the bursting cars. <laughs> this makes for a funny sight, but it's quite an enjoyment either. When you actually play the game, you would think that this is one of the best Spider-Man games you would ever play. A remake or a sequel of this game would be very good, because I believe we didn't give the game its due. It's true that it's not an excellent game, but it's not a bad game either. If we could look past its flaws, we would have a hell of a Spider-Man game. This is Siddharth Ganguly. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more great videos. Good job, Spidey.